SUI or stress urinary incontinence is leakage of urine that occurs with straining, lifting. It can occur with uh, sexual arousal. It can occur during sexual activity or it can occur with orgasm. Typically men who suffer from SUI are patients who've had prostate cancer surgery either with the robot, robotic prostatectomy, laparoscopy, or open prostatectomy. Stress urinary incontinence is generally caused by a surgical treatment for prostate cancer. Men have two uh, sphincters, two muscles that actually prevent leakage of urine. One is uh, the opening of the bladder or also known as the bladder neck and the other is the external sphincter which is uh, distal to the prostate. So when the prostate is removed the internal sphincter is also removed at the same time and patients then develop stress urinary incontinence. It's not uh, uh, always predictable on which patient will develop it or not after prostate cancer surgery. Uh, however, it's quite uh, common after this procedure. To diagnose stress urinary incontinence, one needs to take a good history. Patients who have stress urinary incontinence will usually uh, describe leakage when they cough, when they strain, they usually uh, will use anywhere from one to two pads a day. They may have uh, leakage uh, during sex, which we call climacteria. Um, they also may have uh, leakage uh, when they're sexually aroused, uh, simply by being uh, excited uh, and anticipating sexual activity. It can be very upsetting and debilitating, especially for um, single men uh, who are dating. There is no need to suffer with uh, stress urinary incontinence. Uh, there are uh, several very good options. Uh, it's important to see a specialist in the treatment of this uh, um, uh, disease. Uh, in general, cancer doctors, doctors who remove the prostate, uh, do not uh, perform uh, procedures to treat uh, stress urinary incontinence. Stress urinary incontinence can be treated with medications. There are medications that can help. Uh, imipramine, for example, uh, pseudoephedrine uh, can help uh, tighten the sphincter uh, and can help men, especially if they have uh, incontinence during sexual arousal. If the uh, patient is able to stop the flow of urine um, while urinating, uh, but has a leakage, uh, either one to two pads a day, a uh, sling is a great option for men who suffer from stress urinary incontinence. In order to evaluate a patient to see if they're a candidate for a male sling or an artificial urinary sphincter, it is important to perform an office cystoscopy to evaluate the urethra. We also want to evaluate the ability of the bladder to store urine. If a bladder is unable to store urine, then the patient may not be a candidate for one of these procedures. We also want to be able to um, see whether or not the patient is able to have some control of urination. The male sling is ideal for patients who have a minimal to moderate amount of leakage. It's an extremely successful device with a very high patient satisfaction. It's a minimally invasive and uh, perform on an ambulatory basis. If a patient has severe incontinence, um, leaks more than uh, two to three pads a day, that individual may be a better candidate for an artificial urinary sphincter. It's important to see a specialist when uh, having incontinence there is no need to suffer with incontinence. Incontinence of urine can be uh, debilitating. Patients become recluse. Uh, they don't uh, go out. They plan every trip with every bathroom. Uh, they don't drink fluids. They avoid socializing because they leak more in the evening and so forth. So 
really from a psychological point of view it's extremely debilitating it really affects quality of life treat yourself with a visit to a specialist who specializes in the treatment of incontinence it's well worth it